Hi, I'm Luke Serveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. You've probably heard about the new Fresnel that has been optimized for the Nanlux Evoque 2400B. I've received an advanced demo version. It's not the final final, but it's close. We'll compare the FL35E to the FL35YK that's been out for a while. Here I have the FL35YK combined with the Nanlux Evoque 1200B. Right off the bat, you can see these two Fresnels are the same size and diameter, 35 centimeters. The 35E is a little deeper travel-wise, and the front glass is different. The other big difference is that the 35E attaches to the front of the 2400B. Unlike the 35YK, which was set up with its own yoke so that the lamp head travels inside the housing. In this test, I've lined up the units with the front of the housing in line with each other. But the FL35YK keeps the Fresnel at the front, while the 35E moves the Fresnel back into the housing to flood the unit. In flood mode, you get the spread of flood, but the length of the housing acts like a bit of a cowl, I would think. Someone who knows more about physics would need to unpack that. With the 35E attaching to the front of the 2400B, it makes the unit significantly front heavy. So make sure you have the non-handle side of the yoke pretty tight and make sure you really tighten up the handle before letting the unit go. You can attach the 35E to other units like the 1200B and 900C, but why? The big difference with the 35E is that it has the option of motorizing the spot flood. With this demo unit, I can engage the motor with these two buttons, top for flood and bottom for spot. In the future, you'll be able to control the spot flood via DMX or the Nanlux app. With an upcoming firmware update, you'll also see the beam angle number change on the display screen of the head and in the app. You can go between manual and motorized control by loosening these two captured screws and sliding the motor module away from the center to engage the motor or towards the center to disengage the motor for manual control. Here's the 1200B at 3200 Kelvin at 100% in flood. Here it is in spot. Here's the 1200B at 5600 Kelvin, 100% in flood. In spot. Here's the 2400B at 3200 Kelvin, 100% in flood. In spot. Here's the 2400B at 5600 Kelvin, in flood, in spot. Here's the shadow play coming through the window. First the 1200B, and now the 2400B. For comparison, here are my readings using the 45 degree intensifier. It's basically twice the output as the same beam angle of the Fresnel at full flood. But you don't have quick spot flood control of the beam angle, and the shadow quality is not as crisp. The FL35E gives you another way to modify your Evoque 2400B beyond intensifiers to create crisp shadows and control your beam and light spill with barn doors. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Now, you may have noticed that the two units
students in this comparison were on low junior stands that many people have come to think of as Dana Dolly stands. I have two Matthews brand low junior stands with wheels. They are red and black with silver joints. Recently, I was sent an impact stand that is almost identical. So similar in fact that the Matthews wheels slip right onto the impact legs. Some nominal differences include the placement of the dual Rocky Mountain leg tightening knobs. The bottom of the riser tube on the impact stand is sealed. The tube on the Matthews stand is open, which is probably good in wet weather. And the impact stand is just a tad taller. The Matthew stands have served me well for many years. I would say the wheels are a must. And now you've got another brand to choose from. Check them out. See what you think.